Right about now, you may be asking yourself, self, what does Washington Irving have to do with Oklahoma tourism? Well, here's the answer. He was uh, Oklahoma's first tourist. Uh, he came with the first official U.S. expedition to the central part of Oklahoma in 1832. He described the land as it was then, before it was touched by human settlement. Uh, and he was a very colorful writer. And uh, of course, he was considered America's best writer at the time. Born in New York City in 1783, Washington Irving grew to become one of America's first great writers. His most popular works were in the form of folk tales, like The Legend of Sleepy Hollow and Rip Van Winkle. Irving and a small entourage toured what is now Oklahoma in October and November of 1832. It was a spur-of-the-moment adventure which took him and a few acquaintances to the western frontier and was the experience from which his book, A Tour on the Prairies, was gleaned and published in 1835. Irving's popularity as an author, he was actually the first American author to support himself solely from his writing, stemmed from his ability to paint pictures with his words. So it was no wonder that when the news spread of his tour on the western frontier that the public began clamoring for a book about the experience. On horseback, Irving and two companions traversed the state, met up with a band of frontier rangers and traveled with them through Indian country. They went up the Cimarron River, got to what is now Logan County, then cut west and south through the town of Jones and then down to Norman on the Little River. The final leg of the trip took them east back to Fort Gibson. Reading his book about what it was like before any kind of settlement is really uh, a great experience. And there are places where you can almost imagine what it, uh, the land looked like. In fact, I think around here uh, in eastern Payne County, there are places where you can perhaps you know, close your eyes a little bit or, or not look at the electric high lines <laughs> or the uh, cell phone towers or whatever and uh, imagine what it was like for Irving and his party. The Washington Irving Trail Museum in Ripley has an impressive exhibit showing Irving's tour. Of course, we are uh, the namesake for the museum, Washington Irving Trail Museum, is after Washington Irving and his 1832 trip in which he uh, camped back here about 100 yards. The Clovers also offer a privately guided outdoor tour upon request. Washington Irving's uh, book, The Tour on the Prairie, gave Oklahoma a positive image. It endures to this day. As you can see, the Washington Irving Museum is a wonderful tribute to one of America's greatest storytellers and also a vast repository of many other Oklahoma stories. In addition to Washington Irving, people who are um, on exhibit in the museum include Billy McGinty, the uh, Doolin Dalton Gang, Otto Gray and his wife Florence, she was always called Mommy, <laughs> and um, Chief Apothley Ahola, David L. Payne. And if you don't know who some of these people are? You can come to the museum where we <laughs> have uh, exhibits, photographs, artifacts uh, related to those people and you can always ask us questions because we love to talk about the subjects in the museum.